Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about water. How to water, when to water and how much to water. So, um, tips for today basically. How I start off is, if I can show you, I will show you um, my baby plants a bit later on today. So basically this is my lime tree in a pot. Yep. I have repotted it about a couple of times now. We've had it for just over a year. I try not to do it too often because it, they do go through a shock so. Uh, but you do need to repot it just to kind of encourage it to grow steadily. So basically what I did with this one, again um, similar recipe um, you get your compost potting mix to start with um, and then you put um, a bit of food in there nourishment as explained earlier and sugar mulch now citrus fruits and pretty much most things love mulch but they especially love lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of it so I just topped it up heaps 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 just const constantly top it up now with watering they love water as well but not too much because you can you can over water things as well so there's a few things you can do there is a chuck your finger in the soil test <laughs> that you can do for the better explanation and you kind of got to go in a bit deeper to see if it's wet now my finger is pretty much all the way there and you can feel that it's wet so you don't want to have a soggy feet as they call it now ideally with citrus you need to elevate it a little bit <laughs> that is kind of going up a bit um, so that they drain well because once again you don't want them to be in soggy wet soil which is not good so this part was well this lime tree was absolutely attacked beyond belief by caterpillars and bugs because they just love eating the leaves but do we care about that? No, we don't. Because we're not growing leaves, we are growing fruit. So there's one example of a lime here. And then as you look further and closer, and there's a couple more there. I'm trying to zoom in on my camera. I'm on my phone. And then you look here. Oh, wow, look at that. There's more there. And, and then you look at this one here. And there are tons there and then here we have a couple of bigger ones that's a big one that's getting ready that's getting close and then you look here as well and there's a couple in there two or three in there and and there's another one there so what you do we water how often in summer pretty much every other day so once every couple of days now, as we're heading into cooler weather, we, it's still pretty warm here. We get to about 25, 26. Um, doesn't drop below about 20 at night. So, perfect. The plants absolutely love that. Um, so, what we do... So, yeah, in the spring, you just basically do that test if you like. But then also, this is where talking really helps. Um, you look at your plants and say, so see this tree... It's pretty well. It's pretty doing pretty well. It's very happy. Lots of green and getting some new growth as well. That means I'm happy. You don't need to overdo it. I'm happy for another day, maybe even two. And there's a mandarin here, pretty much in a similar sort of state. Now I will show you. So, oh yes, and how much. So if you look at that spring onion over there, you probably give that five to ten seconds. So you water it. We do um, shower. We have a little spray hose. So we do a shower setting and then we do about five, ten seconds until it starts to drip and it gets a good soaking in. Uh, macadamia, which is about oh, almost twice the size. Um, so you give that a bit more, say about 15 seconds. Um, then this guy, because he's got so much fruit, you give him a bit more, 15, 20. That's probably about the same. This guy is in a bigger pot. So this is your body carbo. You'll probably give that 25, 30 seconds. And then here we have bigger trees. So mango, 
about the same you see that one is really happy as well he was a bit going a bit yellow so if you see yellow or brown patches that means water 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 give me a bit more water and this is seriously the greenest tree I have ever seen so this is my lemon tree see that <laughs> it's incredible um wasn't doing terribly well to start with but then once again I just went mulch 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 heaps of mulch and it's just now, a few weeks ago, taken off like crazy. So then I've supported it there, staked it, and just helping it to accelerate. The sky's the limit. That's a strawberry guava, so not too much there, watering there. That's still in um, toddler stages. Now this is cherry guava. We've had like a hundred pieces of fruit on that one, and they all went. The birds ate them. Thank you so much. <laughs> they didn't leave us any. But you got to, in, in these cases, you just got to outnumber them. So have more fruit than the birds. And this is a poti. Just look at that. I was looking a bit brown and yellow. And again, the same principle. Mulch, mulch, mulch. Um, do some pruning because we had a bit of a drop in temperature. Now it's come back up again. And yeah, and sweet. Then you've got the passion fruit, same sort of principles. Now I'll just show you here a good example. I have my little coffee bush there. So this one, you can see when you see sort of, there you go, perfect. So when you see the sort of the browning there and a bit of yellowing, um, that that's kind of the coffee bush is the best one to show you how they talk to you and they say I need a bit more water. I have just repotted that because it wasn't, doing terribly well I've actually increased the size of the pot that's what I mean um to help it grow and then all of a sudden poof, we got our first coffee bean that's the first year that we got it and here is a close-up and I'll do another video on that shortly thank you very much for watching stand by for the next video have a nice day bye